Jeff Coffin is the Grammy award-winning saxophonist with the wildly popular Dave Matthews Band. He's toured around the world with them for nearly 12 years. Before that, he played with Bela Fleck and the Flecktones, and he has a successful solo career as well. It is safe to say that his day job is pretty high profile. He is also a music educator, not something you often hear about performers who are known worldwide. What do you do when you're excited about welcoming someone to your home? <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay. What's that? Well, you okay. pull out all the stops, which is precisely oh what God. the students at Freiburg right. Academy did. Isn't this crazy? <laughs> this happens everywhere so you go. Creating the Hall of Jeff <laughs> with dozens of Yamaha promotional posters just to welcome him. Oh, my right. gosh. This is yeah. so, they're not too excited, are they? Isn't that funny? Yeah, and there's little there's little pieces in different places. So so check it out if you go further down. So like there's there's like there's just pieces of me everywhere. <laughs> it's, it's pretty flattering. It's really funny. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what's, the, what's the musical we did uh, year before last? Oh, that's really funny. Oh my gosh, that's hysterical. <laughs> Wow. That's wow. what I look like with that kind of hair. The yeah. <laughs> you could totally rock that. I could though. totally rock it. Totally yeah. rock it. You yeah, know, just from the uh, back, you know, the, just the nothing over the front, on, just on the back. Right? The pressure, yeah, apparently so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. With a welcome like that, he cannot wait to get going and meet the students he'll work with for the next three days of his jazz residency. Hey guys, please welcome Jeff Coffin. Hey everybody. It's pretty hard to describe just how big a deal this is. It's really amazing to be able to work with a professional who is like dedicates their life to doing this because so, it gives you a I new experience. You know, I mean, I was, I was okay in high school. I could play the instrument. Jeff Coffin is an amazing player, so he has a lot, a lot of knowledge and it's a, like a profound experience and everyone wow. listens up. So understanding that, that it's a process and that you're in process all the time and that you're in relationship with what you're doing also and that in all relationships there's conflict and you have to understand conflict resolution. You have to understand how to get through that process. For this guy, teaching music is as about much about life practice, as it is about chords really and harmony. Well, I hope they're inspired. I hope they're inspired to create, to kind of dig deeper into whatever it is they decide to do in life. I mean, basically, at, at, at the end of the day, we're talking about life when we're when we're doing this kind of stuff, but we're using music as the metaphor. So all these students are, are basically looking for their metaphors these days. So whether it's music or mathematics, computers, whatever it may be, composition, gardening, mechanics, what, it doesn't matter what it is, it's all the same stuff. And that's how I met Bela Fleck, was through a drummer who came through one of those jam sessions. I think it's important to get in there and talk to the kids, so, you know, to share experiences, so to uh, share stories, be inspired by them, get them inspired also, talk to them about some of the things they need to do if they want to do this. Um, Jeff started playing sax as a kid in Dexter, Maine. Great instruction all the way through school lit the fire for him. Teaching and giving back has always been important. They're my tribe. You know, they've always been, they always will be. It doesn't matter what age we're at. Right. Like if you're a musician, we're gonna hang. I like breaking down that, that perceived barrier, which there really isn't, right. you know? Just because I have high visibility doesn't mean that I'm any different than they are. I heard you played um, tenor reeds on your alto mouthpiece. I do, I play tenor reeds on alto. Christopher you know, Burke is it, the director of the Jazz people, Residency Initiative, the I local nonprofit that pulls together is, these residencies at schools at in Maine. How do you bring in a big name artist to do something like uh, that? You ask nicely. Is, is it honestly the way you start? How do you play two saxophones? That's my question. How do I do it? <laughs> yeah, how? That's my question. Very carefully. From the no student's perspective, they've heard a lot of great things from their local music educators. And they're going to hear a lot of the same things from these artists. But these artists have, a, you know, a Grammy statue on their mantle. And it sounds a little different when they say it. You guys know what a didgeridoo is? How many people don't know what it is? They get to see that okay, these so artists who are an, uh, phenomenal, uh, uh, world-class right? artists Not are like also real people. So if you close down all the keys on the saxophone, you basically make that same sound. <laughs> talk about what they did when they were in high school and they can see that there's a path to get from high school to being a professional musician. It involves a lot of hard work and, and practice but there is a, a path. It's not this magical abstract and, and here's a you know we'll see a, meet a person who's, who's made that journey. Yep up here with me. Yep. Minutes into an improv session Jeff's got students up and performing. <laughs> 
Playing harmonies. Da, your F, F. Back to C. And pulling apart da. chords. D, F, and A flat. So you have to learn self-discipline, you have to learn practice habits, um, problem solving, conflict resolution, all these different aspects of, of how to get better at something. And so you have to learn to teach yourself. And, uh, and so that's what I'm trying to do with these students. For three days, Jeff will teach and talk. Connect the dots for these high school music students. Everybody, one, two, three, and... Uh, five, more sound, more sound! The residency ends with a big concert for the community. And long after he is gone, his impact, and no doubt the Hall of Jeff, will be savored on the Freiburg Academy campus. Do you get this kind of reception I've everywhere? never gotten this kind of reception anywhere. Thank I'm, I'm so tickled. Much. This has completely made my week. <laughs> good, good. Awesome, you guys. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, the residency was a huge success, and no surprise, the final concert was sold out. If you would like to learn more about the Jazz Residency Initiatives, the nonprofit that pulls these experiences together, we'll include a link to their website in the 207 section of our website and mobile app. I know they've had a lot of, you know, talented musicians who have come and right. participated in that program, but it looks as though with that one, the chemistry was really exceptional. He was such an easy guy to relate to, which is unusual and so much fun. So the kids were just, you know, starstruck. <laughs>